Hello my friends, in this class now, let's take all the Y theory past questions on unit and diamond. After that, we'll take the MCQ that has the object. Now, this comprises of the question that they have been asking. So we're going to take them together and also throw more light on the things we need to know. Now, Y theory question 2016, question 1. The question says, states the dimension for impulse, for acceleration, and for work. Now, let's start with the first guy. We've already done this in one way teaching dimension but let's just do it again number one was impulse we say formula for impulse is what force times time would you be equal to force force is mass times acceleration and time is t so in dimension mass is capital letter m acceleration is lt minus two and your time is t so in indices this now become m l this is 1, this is 2, that's like saying minus 2 plus 1. That will give me minus 1. So MLT. So that's the mention for impulse. Let's think the mention for acceleration. What formula for acceleration? Velocity all over time. And what's the mention for velocity? Velocity is, velocity is displacement, that's all over time. That will be LT minus 1. So this will give me LT minus 1. All over T. That will give me what? LT minus 2 indices. And number 3 is work. Now what dimension for work? Work is equal to force times distance. And what's the dimension for force and distance? Force is mass times acceleration and distance is L. So that will give me M. LT minus 2 times MLT minus 2, right? L. And that will give me M L to T minus 2. This is L 1 1. That's why it's 2 here. That's the answer to that question. Very, very well simple. Do you understand? Now let's take another question. Like, uh, we're giving. The velocity of a wave in a stress string depends on tension T, the string, and the mass per incident of the string. Obtain the expression V in terms of V, U, and use the, use the method of dimension. Now, first and foremost, they told that the velocity V depends on, like I can say, V depends on tension. It also depends on mass per unit length. Now, from this equation 1, now we can say V is equal to K T U. I can decide to bracket this and put X here and put Y. Because I need X and Y. Please just follow. It's very simple. Now, I'm going to find dimension for all the variables here. V is velocity. What's the dimension for velocity? That's LT raised to bar minus 1. What's the dimension for tension? Tension is a force. And force is mass times acceleration. So mass times acceleration. That will give me M L T raised to power of minus 2. And what's U? U is mass all over length. That will give me mass is M length is L raised to power minus 1. So if I want to do that now, so this will practically give me, this will practically give me uh uh, what is the dimension for L? That's LT minus 1 is equal to K into M L T minus 2 raised to power X bracket to form M L raised to power minus 1 raised to power what? Y. Are you seeing that? So from here now that we can start equating. Are you seeing that? Now, from here, let's expand this. This will be LT raised to power minus 1 is equal to K MX LX T raised to power minus 2X. This will give me M raised to power Y, L raised to power minus Y. So, we are we're going to equate now. There is no M here. So, because there is no M here, we say 0 is equal to. Is there M here? What is the power of that M? X. Is there M here? What is the raised of? Let me brush the bracket. Let me bracket this. So let's bracket this. 
Let's bracket in this. So now, there's no M here, so M will be zero. Is there M here? What's the power of that M? X. Is there M here? What's the power of Y? So M plus Y. In this, he says, if they have the same power, you if they say have the same base, add their power. So if you make S of the formula, now what will be S here? S will be equal to what? Minus Y. Is that correct? So let's now come here. This L. What was the power of L here? 1. So that will be 1 is equal to what's the power of L here? X. What was the power of L here? Minus Y. So if you make um, X so the formula here now, X will be equal to what? 1 plus Y. Because this Y will move to the side. Do you understand? So this x is equal to y, this x is equal to 1 plus, we can get y. Since this is equal to z, this is equal to z, we can say that y is equal to 1 plus y. Since this is equal to this and this is equal to z, we equated these two together. So from here now, what can you see? We can say that, if you move that, we can say, so this is minus y. So we can say that minus y, if this one move, it now become minus y is equal to 1. That means minus 2y is equal to what? 1. So what will now be y? y will now be equal to what? Minus half. Are you seeing that? So if y is equal to minus y, remember that this x is equal to minus y. So what will now be x? Now x will now be equal to minus into what's y? Minus half. Therefore, x will be equal to what? Half. So we have gotten our x to be half. We have gotten our y to be what? To be half. Now let's now go back to our initial... A bit. The complete series of classes, right, as far as your syllabus is concerned regarding your jam awake, everything has been covered in details for you in the LearnLift app. And guess what? The sweet part is that you have access to your CBT, right? You have access to your video lessons, you have access to your notes, you have access to your past questions. Everything from the beginning to the end is directly in the LearnLift app for you. So all you have to do is just mark down to Play Store or App Store and download the LearnLift app where you follow all your classes from the beginning to the end. A quick one before we move, let's get back to class. Enjoy. Recall that we said V is equal to K root T raised to power X and mass by unit length raised to power what Y. What's our X? So V is now equal to K. See, what do we get as S? We got up. What do we get as Y? We got I to be what? Minus half. So from here now, we can now say that V is equal to K. Now, this is in as T raised to power half. Minus means division in this is all over mu raised to power half. And what does half mean in this is square root therefore V is equal to K root C all over mu. Please, this is the formula that he has given very simple. I also explain in my note. I also explain it in this video. Anyone you want to follow, you are very well correct. You can post it and take it over and over and over again. Now, let's see why theory 2022 question 3. The question says that the effective potential of a lunar satellite of mass M1 moving in an elliptic ob uh, orbit around the moon of mass M2 is given by E is equal to K square over 2M1 R square minus GMM M that's G GM1, M2 over R, where R is the radius. Are we giving the gravitational constant of G to be M minus 1, L32, determine the dimension of the angular velocity K of the satellite? Now, first of all, let's bring out the formula. What is the formula? E is giving us K squared all over 2M1, R squared minus GM, M, M1, M2, M2 all over R. Now let's rule this. Now, take note that this E, what was E? E is energy. What is the measure for energy? Energy is equal to force times distance. And force is mass times acceleration. Acceleration is LT minus 2. Distance is L. That will give me ML2 T raised to power minus 2. ML2 T raised to power minus 2. So, now let's see. In what you have to like this, this is you can equate this to this, equate this to this. Now, let me explain. This is E is equal to K square all over 2M1 R square. And that same E is equal to GMM all over R, where this M1, M2. You can equate it to both of them. Now, to show you we are correct, 
Let's see. A is equal to. Let's see. Quit and see what I have to give us. We already know what E is. Let's do that to give us. See, what was G? We're giving gravitational constant to be this. That's M minus 1. L 3. C minus 2. Times MM. MM are mass. Now, so we can say M, M, M squared. All over. Arrow. Arrow is length. So this is minus 1. This is 2. So what will it be? That will be equal to. That's same thing as saying minus 1 plus 2. What's minus 1 plus 2? That's M. That's 1. So that will be M raised to power 1, which is nothing. This is L. This L reduce L3 to be what? L2. This will be T raised to power minus 2. So M is L3. If you want it, that's what we have here. M, L, 2, T raised to power minus 2. So that means meaning each of them is equal to, E is equal to, only this e is equal to this. That's what it means. So, now, let's now solve that question. Now, remember, I was asked to find K. So, we already focus on this now. Are you seeing that? We know that E is equal to K squared all over 2 M1 arrow squared. So, we know that this is what E is. Now, let's make K squared of the formula. K squared now is equal to what? K squared is equal to E times 2 is a constant. We don't have dimension of a constant, so it will go times m1 arrow squared. What's e? You say e is energy. I will got e to be what? m energy is mass. Energy is equal to force times distance. That's mlt minus 2. 2, a bit, because of this distance. Times m here is mass, capital letter m. Arrow here is distance. That's l squared. So if you multiply this, is k squared is equal to, multiply that as k squared, is equal to m times m, that's m squared. L times delta will be L4, t raised to power minus 2. What does this is square? I'll be finding the square root. I mean, k will now be equal to m squared, L4, t raised to power minus 2 raised to power. In indices, what does square root mean? It means it means half. So from here now, we can now say that k is equal to, k is equal to this half reduce this, that's m. This half will reduce this 4. That's L2. This half reduce this T. That's T raised to power minus 1. So K is equal to M L2 T raised to power minus 1. This is the dimension of a K. And that's what the question is asking. I hope you understand that. You can pause it to watch it over and over again. I'm available. You can meet me anytime and ask your question. I use, or you can go to the queue and hit ask your question. I'll be there to reply. This is everything about dimension. Please. Come out strong in your exams. Be the best student. Change the world. See you in the next class where I'm going to take all the uh, objective past questions. You can start your now. Let's take the objective. I'll see you in that class. Bye. -bye. Hope you've enjoyed this class. Guess what? To follow up for more classes, just download the LearnLift app, whether on Play Store or App Store, and then follow up your classes. You must do extremely well. I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.